Hey there, sign of Capricorn. My name is Kim and I will do your reading for December 18th, 2020. Thank you for like, sharing, and subscribing to this channel and comments and all interaction really. Um, I do appreciate all of you. I just want to send out my gratitude to you and uh, let you know if you want a private reading or if you're interested in donating to this channel, check the description box below. Okay, let's get started without further ado. <sighs> Okay, breathe. Okay, we bring in divine white light, angels, spirit guides, higher self, higher power to come into this reading and give the highest good, the message for the highest good for our sign of Capricorn. And we're going to start with the energy deck. We're going to start with the energy deck. Let's see what we have for Capricorn. Whoa, those two want to come out. We have Angel of Balance, Caring Connections, which this can be focused on a business partnership as well as a romantic partnership. Angel of Balance comes about when uh, the need for balance or the justice card, uh, Libra's card, is in you know, that's what's at work, is that we need a um, balance. We need to make sure that our life, our work balance, our play balance, like that everything is balanced. That is how life likes things, is in a state of homeostasis. Okay, let's see if you can see. There, maybe you can see a little bit better now. Okay, this is Kim Cran's archetype deck. Let's get you one of these from the archetype, the wild unknown. From the wild unknown. For a sign of Capricorn, December 18th, 2020. Ooh, the kiss. A definitely a caring connection, right? All right. The kiss. The kiss. Let me look in the guidebook for this for you. So, make sure I get it right. <clears throat> Let's see. Come on. Okay, the kiss. It means the touch, the chemistry, the sex. Before a first kiss, the air is electrified. Each breath is alive with the possibility and magic. This energy of the kiss is a heightened sensation of merging with the other to become one. It's risky but beautiful business. These moments forever change us as we move past the solitary self towards union and acceptance. This card suggests true intimacy is around the corner, which requires bravery and surrender. When the kiss takes a non-human form, it may be experienced as touching the sacred, hearing a whisper, or being graced by the divine being. You will recognize the presence of the kiss by cold chills and awakening of the heart. Merging, inviting. Nice. That, and it's right... I put it right below the caring connections. So let's get you some tea leaves next. All right, Capricorn. Poor Capricorn. Okay. All right. Trouble accusations. Here it goes. Because they're not all good there, but they're not all meant for you. They're not all meant for everybody. They're really specific. Reef, sorrow over a loss. Fly, a Ill, period of ill health or depression. Axe, forces working against you, which you know if you call on spirit team, then they are not going to um, outweigh. The darkness can't outweigh the light. Bell, announcement. And flag, do not lower your standards. And dark woman, a dealing or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or dark hair. All right. So, wisdom from the oracles. Let's go. Let's go there next. You see that? Yeah. All right. Wisdom from the oracle for our sign Capricorn for December 18th, 2020. Why? So this card is all about finding your intentions 
and setting them. So whatever you're wanting to achieve, succeed, anything like that, it's about achieving them, but it's about making your manifestation stronger by directly and clearly describing what your intent is and it also states that if you're doing something for the greater good like for everybody then your treasures from that will be multiplied all right let's get a guardian angel card for you capricorn december 18th 2020 all right angel of health so there's something and it, it might be this it might be this period of ill health or depression um this angel of health may be just a call for you to be uh more attuned to what you're doing to your body physically and maybe getting assistance getting fit or eating healthy this can actually mean that a trip to the doctor is necessary um, it's up to you and it's up to your timeline that this, you know, that this occurs. So it's up to you to decide what fits for you and what doesn't. Let's get the Rider Waite Tarot for our sign of Capricorn. Let's get the issue. Okay, this is crossing it. This is the issue. Balancing things may be hard right now. Maybe a juggle. Maybe you're multitasking. Could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Uh, this challenging bit is an offer of love. It could be about a job offer. Could be about a partner offer. Some kind of offer is wanted that will keep you emotionally fulfilled. But right now, it seems like you're having to juggle quite a bit. Let's see what spirit advice to you is. All right, and outcome. So we'll take this as outcome. We'll take this as advice for you is to leave something behind, okay? And this can mean a state of mind. This can mean actually physically leaving a situation for another one before it gets disastrous. It's up to you, like I said, to decide on your timeline ultimately there looks like there may be some heartache we have three of swords energy could be third party could be, this could be the reef suggests loss so it could be loss or sorrow either way you know getting the three of swords isn't a bad thing it just means that you're gonna have this as an experience and you're gonna need to integrate it so capricorn let's get you another card for that three of swords to help ease your mind with that Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, fast change, fast change that might, something might cause you some heartache because of something with a, that was abruptly changed, something really fast. All right, Capricorn, um, join me for the 19th and I'll do your readings tomorrow. Thank you very much. Sending much love and light out to you all. Bye.